The main thing I hear when people share with me what surprised them about me or Rhino for the first time is how um, gentle they can be. When they think of a rhino, they think of this big gray monster. But in reality, they can be quite delicate with their actions and they can be quite gentle with each other or with you even. And even how personable they can be. Most of our rhinos love being pet or being fed. They will cross hundreds of acres to get to you for that. They genuinely enjoy it. Each of these rhinos have their own personalities. That's all shaped by um, the way they communicate with us and each other. We're able to look at their body language, listen to their vocalizations, and help paint a picture of who that rhino is. It's not just about how they look. It's not just about how Anon has jackrabbit ears and her daughter Faith has a mole in her left ear. It's about the way they interact with you and interact with their environment and interact with each other. And all that goes into how we manage them. Uh, this herd is dynamic, it's fluid. Animals are being born, animals are leaving. And so that dynamic ebbs and flows with those changes in the environment and your actions. And so it all paints this picture of what it looks like out here, but there's so many little factors that kind of contribute to it. So having the opportunities to manage rhinos in this way has opened up to a whole world of knowledge. A lot of stuff that we haven't quite figured out how to explain yet. Giving them the opportunities we're able to give them in the spaces we're able to give them. You see all sorts of little things that add up to create these bigger pictures. A lot of stuff we're able to kind of anecdotally come up with our interpretations of what's going on. Some of it we need some more in-depth analysis and that's why our research collaborations and training programs are so important where we're able to uh, collect biometric data on our rhinos and compare it to what we're seeing in those observations to help paint a picture of what's going on. The conclusion I've come to is we don't know as much as we thought we did. There's lots of books about how rhinos breed and act and we're seeing some things that kind of speak against those things. Every opportunity you have to watch these guys and learn from them, you're picking up something and it's adding to this picture. Every new insight we gain about rhinos here at the wilds is helping to conserve this species into the future.